All right, guys, here's the next part. So this is the fun part. This is where we get to paint. Um, sometimes I get more creative, but in this case, we're keeping it simple. But at home, if ever you wanted to do any extra embellishing after the fact, you can do that too. So here, you guys saw me put my stencil down. Now it's ready for me to paint. Um, so in your package, you're going to have something that is clear, almost like a glue looking. We're going to use that first. And why do I use this? Not everybody does, but I do. So it looks like glue and I'm just going to wipe it off there and I'm actually going to work from, from up here. So it just seals the edge. And so what does that do? It just makes for a crispier line and less, um, less bleeding. So bleeding would be when, if you put, applied too much red paint, for example, here, it would go underneath the blue plastic and it would spread down and we don't want, um, we don't want any bleeding. So here we're gonna just make sure to put some glue everywhere on, and why do I use a sponge? I don't use paintbrushes anymore because we've had some classes where paintbrushes, um, people get too excited and then um, they end up going too fast and are not as attentive to detail. So we work with a smaller object and you can still work fast. You can see I'm stamping fast and my pressure's good. Don't worry about the board. It's really solid. It's not going anywhere. Take some more and I'm gonna stamp over here. Okay, and it doesn't take long to dry either once this is on. So just make sure you get one good coat of everywhere. And then you just leave that for a second. And then you can use the same sponge. Um, so I'm gonna use the sponge that I just used here for the clear. I'm gonna use that with my red paint too. So I want a red car. Some people can have a different color car, but in this package it's red. Um, and, but again, if you have different colors at home, you can use whatever colors you want uh, and have fun with it. Or let me know ahead of time and I can probably change the colors in your package without any issues. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe off a little bit and make sure you can see my little bit of the sponge there because it had the glue on it. This is my first coat of red paint. So I put some on, try not to get it on the edges, just keep it clean. I wipe it off onto the blue as much as I can. And then I'm gonna do a really light coat. And I just want it to be pretty much, basically it touches the surface and it's drying uh, within about a second or two. Fill up your brush with a little bit of paint Again, same thing. And why are we doing this? To prevent any of the bleeding. It's, uh, it's not, it's hard to clean up, you know, trying to clean up the red paint on the white. You wouldn't want to do that. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna do that one coat. You'll probably do with the darker colors. Um, so like I could easily see us having to do three or four light coats of red because it's a very um it's a very dark color it's like a hard color to keep onto the project so do three four five coats to get the right color that you want if you do too thick of a coat um it won't it'll when we peel off the blue it will um, peel off the paint with it and so your project won't look really good and it'll make it a little bit more difficult to try and clean up um, so so yeah so that's one coat I'm not gonna wait long I'm just gonna keep going and I'm gonna um, let you guys go I'll do a couple more coats and then I'll come back okay thanks <laughs> 